Hello everyone. In today's Work Fusion RP Express Tutorial 4, we'll learn about one of the action libraries, loops. In this slide, you see the types of loops that are available in the action library. While, repeat, retry, for each. The functioning of each type of loops is similar to what you see in any programming language. While we'll do a certain activity till the condition remains, till the condition is no longer true. The repeat is again, it will repeat a certain set of activities the number of times you have configured. The retry will retry the set of nested actions the number of times you have configured in the retry option. Uh, for each again uh, acts as a loop that will loop through the list the, till the number of items are exhausted. In the sample project demo, below is a set of actions that we will be performing. First, we will be defining and assigning a variable with the data type as list, wherein we will store the list of uh, values. We will then launch an Excel, click on the Excel at any coordinates, loop through the list of variables and type each value one at a time in the Excel. One at a time typing is exemplified using the down key. Now let's start the demo. Click on create a recording, new recording, rename the recording. Iteration loop, you can give any name here, just it has to be identifiable with the scripts that we will be creating. Now we have selected keystrokes from the keyboard option. You need to hold down the keys that you want to use on the keyboard. Here we are using Windows and R key combination. We are trying to launch the Excel here. The next script that we are using is key keystrokes and we are trying we are trying we are typing the text excel because we don't we want to open an excel out here in this script we are going to give the key combination enter so these three scripts that we created will launch an excel Before we use the for each loop script, we need to put uh, another wait script in this um, do project. This we need because when you click on launch Excel Windows run, the Excel might take some time to come up. So we are giving 5000 milliseconds here to wait for the Excel to pop up on your screen. Here the, we, we are using we are making use of another action library that is mouse. Um, we'll select double click on type of click. This will once the Excel is launched and the coordinates that we have specified here will be used to determine the location of the cursor uh, as its starting point from where the bot will start to paste the contents from the list into your Excel it much more clearly when the demo starts. So we have specified the coordinates here 260, 170 and we have given double click as type of click and the mouse button that you will be used is left button. Now we'll try to use the loops. We'll use the for each loop to define the scripts that we want to be executed in loop. Before that, we need to set a variable that will be a list data type and comprise certain set of values that we want to iterate through using the for each loop. So here you see when you go to the recorder variables, you get an option to add variable. 
So we have added a variable with the name variable. You can change the name of this um, variable as well. Uh, we defined it as a list and now we will set the items that will be available in the list. The first item that we are setting is how. Second is R. Third variable in the list is U. Let's save the list by clicking on the save button. Now you can see the list has been saved with the items as how, are, you. You can even modify the list by clicking on the list default, val default value and uh, you can even modify the existing item like we have modified u question mark. We have deleted the question mark here and we have added one more element today in our list that we had defined earlier. So this is where you can add, modify your list. Now if you see on the drop down, you will find a variable available of the type list, which you can click. So if you see the for loop now, you can see the changes applied. Here you can see that item is a variable basically. Item is the index rather, uh, using which you can iterate through the list. Um, we've added one more keystroke that does nothing but copies the value from the item that is available in the variable list. So what this is going to do is it is going to um, write each and every item, each and every item in the list within the variable list into the notepad that we had opened into the excel rather now we have added one more uh, loop that is repeat here you can specify how many times you want to repeat a set of action that we are going to put under the repeat script now we have selected two now let's add one more keystroke under repeat You need to drag it properly so that it comes under the repeat script. Now it's still not under the repeat script. The script that we want to repeat twice is pressing the down key. You need to hold the down key on your keyboard, on your laptops or keyboard's key. Like I said that the keystroke is still not under repeat. So let's try to drag it and put it under the repeat script. Now you see a small open close like arrow. So when you close it, if it gets, if it disappears, that means the script, the keystroke with the down key is come under the repeat script. So the down, press down key will be repeated twice. Now let's try to run the, the bot or rather the script that we have created. You see that an Excel got launched and here we, it's now typing all the items one at a time from the list followed by pressing the down key twice. As you can see all the scripts are gone, have grown green. It means our project executed successfully. You see the down keys being spread two times, which is why there is a distance between the list of items. Likewise, you can create scripts, such scripts from uh, the remaining types of loops available in the action library. And execute project and see how it works.
that's all for today if you have any questions please put it in the comment box and i'll try to reply to it thank you